Hey, hey, peeps, welcome back. So, um, I was given this uh, Phalaenopsis today, and you can see he's actually quite a beast. He's, he's absolutely insane, um, albeit a little bit dehydrated. And you can see here, his roots are a little bit wrinkly, but he has loads, and his leaves are uh, a bit droopy and wrinkly top one's not so bad but the bottom one's definitely uh, quite leathery and um, yeah he, ha he has some flowers and they're drooping a little bit and I think um, oh yeah there was a, a spike coming out of there but his roots um, in the pot look like they're in quite a sorry state and the medium looks completely degraded so um it's been a while since i've done uh, a phalaenopsis rescue so um why not do it with my peeps i'm making this video there we go so yeah i still can't find my selfie stick so i'm gonna have to do this um from this angle but i'm sure you guys won't mind you don't need to see my face you're just here to see the orchid so um what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take him out of his pot and we're going to have a look what's lurking beneath there. Although I suspect we're probably going to need to um, chop back, take away some of this dead tissue here. And maybe I might put him back in to his original pot or maybe I might upsize to this one but I'm not sure yet. So we'll see what state he's in. Um, when we get him out, I'll show you a shot of that and uh, we'll make a decision from there. Alrighty, so he's out of his pot. Mm. There's a lot of mushy, flat, smells terrible. And it's molded to the bottom, so you can see here it became a little bit pot bound. But I suspect uh, what might be the best move here is to just remove a little bit, well, this ball here, and let it restart its roots at the bottom. I mean, it's got plenty of aerial roots, so it's going to be okay. Uh, but I think ultimately all this dead bundle here needs to come off for sure, because you know, that's, uh, that's nasty. Smells nasty too. So I'm just going to loosen this up, show you what we've got to work with, and then we will start trimming and uh, see how much we need to cut back. And this is what it's like underneath all those uh, nasty old wood chips. So it's just, yeah, flat, dead. There's really, I mean, these are the aerial roots. There's some that's kind of hanging on to these ones, but I think. I'm going to go ahead and start cutting away all the dead and um, see what healthy roots we have left. So we'll see. Okay, so I've uh, snipped and cut away all the dead stuff. I cut the stalk back here as far as I thought it was safe to go because as you can see, it's, there's not a trace of green in there. It's just, um, yeah, brown. So I removed everything that was below because that was um, inevitably going to rot and cause problems later on. So I preemptively done that. It has a substantial amount of uh, aerial roots. So I'm just going to make sure I keep those guys misted so he gets hydrated and hopefully he can uh, start plumping up. And I've also cut back um, the flower spikes. But I've left that secondary spike because you never know what might happen. It's the other one so he can put some energy into regenerating his roots and plumping up rather than um, putting energy into maintaining the flowers priorities and all that so um, after everything that I've cut away I figured that I'm gonna put him back into a standard size pot rather than this big one here I'm going to use this one here so standard size one it's not the one it came in but it's one that I've actually pre put the holes in so 
I'm going to stick with my ventilated pot and get this guy in here. So, back in a minute, guys. Uh, just thought I'd get a shot of uh, the ceramics and the clay pebbles and the wood chip mix yeah, that I'm going to use. So, in combination with this and these drainage holes, it shouldn't be an issue for airflow and uh, mold issues. And there he is. So, what I've done is I've taken these two spikes that were in the pot when I got him and I've just uh, clipped them together like that. So it's formed a support and he's now sitting just above the uh, medium and all of his aerial roots are hanging outside so they don't um, go under and, and start to rot. So I've kept the aerial roots as is. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give him a bit of a mist and then I'll get one last shot of him for you. Okay, so my handy dandy spray bottle and just, yeah I know, I'm getting the table wet but I'll dry it. It's fine. This is uh, lazy mode at its best here. Oh, sorry, now I'll frame that. So just enough to get some water on those leaves, uh, not the leaves, the uh, roots, so they turn green, so it's very, very dehydrated as you can see, look at those wrinkles, but hopefully uh, it should pick up soon, so yeah, so uh, I'm just gonna do that maybe once a day, every other day I'll see and uh, I'll keep you guys updated on this guy's progress because as uh, rescues go he's really not all that bad you know he's, he's in actually quite good shape so hopefully he shouldn't take too long to bounce back so um, I'm just gonna go ahead and try the table and get off all these Droplets on the leaves and the stalk, and then uh, I'll find a little home for him with the rest of my guys. Anyway, peeps, thanks for watching. As always, it's much appreciated. Much love, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.